they got blown in that. Oh, I think it's the water. Oh, those poor people. Oh, my gosh. Poor guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's really Oh. 17 people are confirmed dead after a duck boat carrying tourists and two crew members uh, sank near Branson, Missouri. The deceased include children, adults, and the elderly. Again, I said it's been a long night and uh, been a very trying night. We had boats out there where it was perfectly calm and then we had a high speed wind system that just came out of nowhere and uh, uh, out of that storm front. But did the wind uh, come out of nowhere? Uh, a severe thunderstorm warning was, in fact, issued for surrounding areas 15 minutes before the last duck boat tour was scheduled to start. Another warning was issued uh, for the lake about a half an hour before reports came in of the boat sinking. Uh, joining us now is Colleen Johnson. She's a former duck boat uh, captain uh, and was uh, with the Boston Duck Tours for more than a decade. Uh, such a sad story. Let's talk a little bit about this, Colleen. Wind gusts on the lake reached, what, 60? three miles per hour. Is it normal to be on the water during uh, storm warnings along these lines? Well, I mean, to be out on the water during a storm warning, probably not that abnormal, I guess. Uh, the 65 mile an hour winds, it sounds like they came pretty quick. I, I, I would have to imagine that that came once they were already in the water. I can't imagine anyone would have gone in the water with 65 mile an hour winds. Yeah, I, I agree. We understand that there were life jackets on the boat that capsized, uh, but there's no regulation, I take it, requiring they actually be worn. Why not? Uh, I mean, on a normal day, uh, the water's so calm, there's generally not a problem. It's standard procedure to don life preservers in the event of an emergency. Um, otherwise, if you're on a duck on a 100 degree day, you definitely don't want to put a life preserver on. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, the boat uh, did have two crew members, Colleen, a captain who survived, a driver who died. Is it normal for there to be two crew members on a boat like this? Uh, yeah, it is now, especially uh, here in Boston. Uh, that changed a couple of years ago also. It used to just be one, and now for safety reasons, there are two. Uh, I am just heartbroken for that the family of duck people down in Missouri. If they're anything like Boston, they're 100%. Uh, a family and I just can't imagine. Yeah, it's an awful, awful situation. Clearly our heart goes out to all of the, uh, all of them. Tell, tell us a little bit about uh, what, are the, what are described as those plastic flaps on the boat. Uh, the company that operates the boat says they were lowered at the time of the accident. Does that make the boat safer? Um, I, my guess is the, the flaps were down due to weather. I don't know if it was raining. Uh, that's generally why the, the flaps would be down. Um, and I can't speak to how they are in Missouri, but here in Boston, uh, they both zipper and they Velcro from the outside. So if there's ever an issue, you could just literally push on the plastic curtain and it would fall out. Would it make it potentially pe it make it more difficult for people to get out? I, I mean, yes, if the flaps are down, but like I said, here in Boston, we, there are two different ways for uh, the flaps to be dealt with. Um, I, can't, I can imagine that if there's water up against one of the sides, that would probably be hard to push it out. Um, there's also the, the windshield of the duck, uh, of our ducks, would, can lower for another uh, exit po point in an emergency. And then the back of the duck by the ladder would also be open. What kind of certifications must these uh, duck boats go through? Uh, as a captain of a duck, you're actually U.S. Coast Guard certified. So that takes a course and passing an exam, um, passing a physical. Uh, it's renewed every five years. Uh, there are different hoops to jump through um, to, to uh, upgrade your licenses to. Um, so there, they, I would assume the captain of the duck is a Coast Guard licensed captain. Yeah. My heart just breaks for him. For yeah, her. all of, of it, we're all, all in shock as a result of what happened. An awful, awful situation. Colleen Johnson, thanks so much for your expertise.